Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking at uh, an interesting co uh, file reading concept like how to import data from text files. Now, uh, this, is, this is nothing but reading data from text files. Okay. Now, what we have here is that uh, if you guys look at my my folder here where I kept all the files, okay, I have two data sets. One text file data set called as rain underscore data, and it's, it's kind of big, so if you open it, you will have a big set of data like this, okay, with a la very large set of data like this, okay, fine, you have a large set of data like this. Okay, let's see how to extract this using commands in Python. For that, what you need is that first you need a file pointer or a file object to open and close the file first. Second, you, ne you need to collect, uh, on one way of looking at it is that you need to collect all the data as a single massive string. Okay, and then what you do, you just uh, break the data into lines and then from each line, break the line into subsequent small small data and using separators you can uh, using separators assign them to the values in the file assign them to the variables okay now l before before going about that let's look at the data file again um yeah fine you kind of can't stop, uh, fr fr froze a little, but anyway, it's back. Now, if you guys look at the data from the top to bottom, it's a very, 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 very big data set. Okay, very big data set. If you guys notice, there are three columns, uh, several rows, and th but three columns, and uh, three columns, and uh, they have a tab spacing in between, I suppose. And then what you have is that one column has years to, is, has only years to, in 2013, Another column has some kind of value that ra that is ranging from close to one all the way to 220 point something. Whereas third column has lot of zero values and also once in a while it will have a lot of uh, positive values as well. So as of now you haven't seen any if when we zoom it up, but you will have some positive values put put here and there. Okay, so this format is necessary. Okay, now let's do this one by one. First, we need a file pointer to open the file. So what I'm going to do, uh, to, to create a file pointer or a file object, we need this command called as open. So let me copy this and uh, I'll walk you guys through what's happening. Okay, now what this command does is that it creates a file pointer, call, file pointer or file object called as uh, f, okay, and it opens the data. Um, it opens it opens the data okay uh, this open come function opens this file called as rain underscore data dot txt in read mode okay so if you guys uh, so that the syntax is file name and the access type if you keep if you type r it's read mode if you type w it's read writing mode if you type rw it means read and write mode okay then what i'm going to do is that i'll extract or uh, if i just uh, uh, let's see if I just print if I just print uh, if, I, if I just print f okay what I'll get is that it, ju it just says that it's, a, it's an open file it says it says it's a, a kind of a handle okay o a file op open file handle with uh, reading on reading mode so if I want to look at all the if I want to get, get the contents of it of the, of all these contents what I need is that I need to create a string called as contents which and you need a method called as read lines to get them get the lines from them so what I do is that if I just put contents equals f dot read lines and press enter okay press enter nothing happens but if you look at the variable explorer um, Okay, I think it's too big, so I may not. Okay, okay. If you look at the contents, what you will see is that you you are getting a very long, very a list, uh, a very big list, uh, with each list to be a one big string like this. One big string like this, okay, and it's a very long one, so it just goes on and on and on, okay. 
okay so if you, if you want if you are if you're doubtful as to what's going on just print print contents it's going to it's going to give you a big list with all the values given okay now now this is a very big one so what I'm going to do is that let me break this into reasonable chunks before I do that let me create three empty lists called as uh, y sec and rain okay I'll explain what's going on y is used for, will be used for storing the uh, year sec is used for storing the second column values and rain is used for storing the third column values that's it and as of now I'm just set initializing all of them to be uh, null arrays or empty arrays empty arrays over here okay and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to is that, a, no, is that what I'm going to do is that I'm going to unpack the contents of unpack the unpack every line in the content I'm going to use it okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to start a for loop stating for line in contents okay and then for line in contents and then I'm going to use line dot split to get the individual values out so if you do if you look at uh, okay what I do is that as of now let me copy this alone copy this alone okay we just print line a print line is going to print all the lines except one one after the other it's going to print all the lines one after the other and there's a spacing between them if it's indicates it's which indicates that because the lines have something called as uh, escape sequence at the end and that's getting printed also so okay now we're getting the lines now the next thing is let's break this break the get the individual values of it so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type for sorry how did that come okay for line in contents I'm going to use three variable variables simply a comma b comma c the unpacking mechanism we used last time okay and then I'm, use, I'm going to use line dot split command to break the break individual break individual lines and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, append y with I'm going to append them y dot a append y dot append a and uh, sec dot append b and c dot e yeah, I guess rain yeah it's rain dot append c okay if I press enter there you have it there you have it and that's it now the data from the file ha file has been re ex uh, file has been uh, extracted nicely so if you look at the variables if you look at if you look at don't if uh, don't worry about a b and c let's look at y second rain okay the rain is like this all of these are extracted and these are strings as of now all of these are strings as of now okay that's fine as of, that's fine as of now okay and if you look at sec it's again a list it has a list of numbers all of them are strings by default similarly if you look at uh, we'll saw rain and we just have to look at y with this again a list but it's just uh, numbers okay now what can be done is that we want we want to access, access these so we need to use them as numbers so what I'm going to do is that uh, I look at the split over here. They are they are available as contents. So let me make them as let me use typecasting and do something about it. And now what I do is that I set numbers this to be int int a because a will be an integer and b will be a second right. So let me put this as float. Okay and c will again be a float. So let me make this as float. Okay, enter. Okay, if I do that, if you look at the variable explorer, we look at the variable explorer, and uh, oh, it just uh, okay. Uh, sorry, it just appended all the values again. So let me delete them. If you want delete individual variables from the command, just use del del y. Okay del sec 
del frame okay and now i have to repeat i have to repeat these three lines so i'm repeating that okay and now let me copy the copy these lines copy these lines okay if i press enter there you have it once once that is done let me look at the variable explorer if you look at the variable explorer let me just have a look at rain you see it's a list but all these values are floats all these values are floats okay all these values are floats similarly if you look at the other values as well they'll they'll have a, uh, these are integers okay y's are integers rain is floats and sec sec second or sec is also float so that's that's about it and then from here on you can use your normal options okay your normal options to work with it so what you can be done is that if you want all these to be numpy arrays what you do is that y equals np a array of y okay sec equals np a r r a y of sec okay and then rain equals np dot a r r array of rain and that's it and that's it now if you look at these now if you look at now if you look at these the now sec becomes floating point values a numpy a proper numpy array rain becomes a numpy array and even your y becomes a, pros, a proper numpy array now that's about it now that is about uh, now if you if this way your you have all the values ready so if you want to plot them up you can plot it so what i'm going to do just to have just for the sake of completion let me plot all that so plot uh plot now sec comma rain comma label equals rain okay let this be in red color okay okay i guess this has to be before label okay now if i plot this i get a plot like this so indicating that once in a while you have a lot of spikes once in a while you have a lot of spikes and mo but most of the time you don't you have nothing okay okay and uh, if you were to <laughs> well that's about it it just says that once in a while you have plot once in a while if you have lines and if you were to zoom it up sorry if you were to can okay close it like if you can zoom it up if you want and have a look at it but this is how it, the, this is how the plot looks like okay this is how the plot looks like oh that's about it well that's about it okay now in the next tutorial what we can see is that we'll see how to uh, use them use them uh, do the same option with the numpy arrays okay that's all i have you guys for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time